Welcome to week two, uh, day two, I believe, <laughs> of um, uh, Dialing for Dollars. We try to do this every single day, but uh, I've been busy the last uh, couple of days sending contracts. So uh, we're going to dial some of the people, uh, do some follow-ups, uh, et cetera, so you can kind of get an idea how to talk to these sellers uh, and get your first deal in real estate investing uh, to generate cash flow. Uh, that's the name of the game. Cash flow is what we want. Uh, so um, if you like this video, go ahead and uh, uh, subscribe, uh, like, and share, and comment below. Okay, let's get to it because uh, we have to move fast here. So I got my CRM already pulled up. Uh, and we are going to go and call, um, uh, let me see, I have a schedule here. Um, call the lady that wanted us to sell or to buy it for, uh, for a uh, 10 to 15,000. Uh, which is an excellent deal. Uh, where is she? Where is she? Let me look at my schedule on my phone. Last week, she told us to call and speak to her husband on Friday, which today is Friday. And so we are um, going to do that. Cynthia. Cynthia is her name. Okay, Cynthia, there she is. So the recap on this, I called uh, during a live call and she told me that uh, they, to call her husband and to make sure that he is ready. Uh, monthly payment, 1200, uh, very important. Great deal. She only wants 10K. Okay. Uh, Jerry. Jerry is the husband. Uh, she said she gave me her cell phone number. So I'm going to call here that number. No, I'm going to call the house number. Okay. Um, Okay, so like always, I am going to text her. The purpose of texting people is to uh, kind of get them to look at their phone and then all of a sudden the call is right there. So, um, and they can answer through text uh, as well. So let me text her right now. That works for me, so. Uh, you can try your own way to see what, uh, how you get results. So uh, there it is. And now I'm going to dial here. That feeds into my phone. So it's kind of like a really nice system here. Uh-oh, I'm gonna have to try the cell number here. Up. 
you do this, I am texting her from my, on her other phone. You can do the same thing, hang up here and then dial that phone number. So uh, this is not gonna be picked up here. So I'll move on to the cell phone number and I will call her here. Forwarded to an mm. automatic voice message system. Maybe they really are unavailable. Uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can dial on uh, another uh, system here. So. Um, Okay. Okay. Um, All right, uh, so I'm going to try to I'm just going to make the notes and I'm going to have to give her a call back. Let's see here. I don't want to irritate her. Maybe they, they're taking a nap or something. I'll definitely call her back. times and texted both numbers and no answer try her okay okay so uh we can move on to the next leads here uh, where's today eight? Okay, so these are new leads uh, that we are trying to get a hold of now. And that was just a follow up. Uh, I had her ask me to call her on Friday, which uh, today is Friday, and uh, she did not pick up. So uh, we go on to an, another lead. So I copy the the address as always, uh, and then bring it to. Uh, privy and to uh, I'm going to try uh, realtor.com because their estimates are lower than Zillow uh, and also I'm going to take it to Zillow as well So I've got I had a call on here. I don't think it was a seller, so I was hoping Cynthia would call me back, uh, but it wasn't one. Okay, so on Zillow. It tells us uh, that it's off market. So I always wanna make sure I verify the properties we're targeting are uh, off market for the most part. Um, this estimate here is 362 in the rental 
uh, amount is at 1794 and the estimated refi payment is at 2082, so below rent. So this would not cash flow. So we already know that going in. So unless they tell us something different, we know this property would not cash flow, but they're willing to sell. So let's see what, uh, what we can do. So I bring those figures here on my CRM and go ahead and save that here. And then I'm gonna go to Privy and then see if I can get a range of what uh, we can sell it for, an ARV. Okay. So right here, uh, I see Okay, it's not pulling up, so let me see if I got it correct here. Okay. Okay, so I got it. It's from uh, 311 to 413. So that's a $100,000 difference. So 311K, I'm gonna take that, put it on my system here. Uh, and now we got Zillow says 362. So it's mid range uh, from what uh, Privy is telling me. So now let me see what realtor.com is usually more accurate. So realtor.com, it says uh, 209. 209. <laughs> so you can tell Zillow is being really, really aggressive. Uh, I believe uh, realtor.com is by the National Association of Realtors. Uh, you can see that at the, at the bottom. Uh, so you scroll all the way to the bottom. It says National Association of Realtors and move uh, Inc. Uh, as the owner of this website. So this is probably a much better estimate. And I believe that Zillow holds data from realtor.com or whatnot to give their estimates. But um, realtor.com has it at 209. So 209, uh, realtor.com. Okay, so man, that is like significantly lower than any other estimate. So let's see. Uh, so this person is trying is tired of being a landlord, uh, according to the notes, and the minimum they'll take is three hundred fifty thousand. Okay, Joseph. It's called Joseph now. Actually, texting first is always. Oh, Joan, this is Ben. And I'm trying to fly through these, but usually if I'm not recording a video, I'm moving a lot slower. I'm moving fast now because I don't want to make it boring for you guys. Hello. Hello. Uh, may I speak to Joseph? 
Um, yes, hold on for a second, please. Thank you. Works. Wine. Hello, Joseph. How are you doing? This is Ben. Ben? Yes, yes. You spoke to um, uh, one of our uh, people here in the office, uh, and uh, you guys talked about you selling your property. You wanted 350000 for it? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I took a look at it. I uh, did a little bit of digging here, uh, and uh, I want to see if... Uh, how we can move forward. Okay, so what was the cash offer? Well, I wanted to ask you, uh, I looked at the rents, and according to Rentometer and Zillow, uh, the, the rents are around 1800 Is there, is there, a, are you renting it for higher than that, or, or how does that look on your no, end? No, you know what, I, I, I rented it for less than that. I, I, I rented it to somebody who was Sure. Do you do you just have this this only this rental, or do you have other other properties? So I, as far I have a personal home that I my old home that I rent out and I'm keeping, and then uh, my name's on another property with my sister, but she's also keeping that one. So. Oh, got you. So it's not like a portfolio. You're not you're not trying to sell like a portfolio or anything. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure, sure. No, I, I can appreciate that. Uh, okay. And uh, is 350 the best you can do? You know, I, I, I don't, you know, that was, that was you know, talking with the agent. That's what he thought, you know, that would sell for about somewhere in that neighborhood. So, um, oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Let, let me explain further my question. Uh, Typically, agents will will say, "Okay, so it can sell for three fifty, uh, but uh, right now we have we do have a little bit of a declining market. Now it's not going up like it was just three months ago. Sure. So, yep. it, and it and that, also that was that was that was current taking you know current taking the yeah. market and the interest rates and everything that was that was mm -hmm. you know that was about a week ago. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I definitely understand that. Uh, but from the 350, as you know, you know, seller typically pays closing costs uh, and pays the agent and all that type of stuff. So you're you're walking away with a with an amount. No, no, no. It, I don't have I don't have a number. I am just saying, like, like what what do you bottom line want to walk away with? Because whatever number you and I agree to. That's literally what you walk away. So I just wanted to draw a difference between what an agent tells you. So 350, you don't walk away with, but whatever number you and I agree to, you can walk away. You can count to walk away with. So that's what I was asking. So what 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 kind of like is your number to that you'd be happy walking away with? Mm-hmm. Three thirty, okay. So that'd be you guys. You guys would walk away with about one hundred and sixty something each. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So three thirty. Uh, okay. 
So here's what I want to do. I want to work on that figure a little bit and see how I can get you uh, to the 330. Okay. Like I'm saying, my, my intention is to fully, when, I, when we agree to a number, uh, that's what you take home in your pocket, you know, net, 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 as they call it. Okay. Okay. So let's, let me do this. Let me go ahead and work on it. Uh, is it okay to call you back, let's say next uh, week sometime? Okay. So again, my name is Ben. Uh, and uh, yep, yeah, Ben, if you want to save my number there, uh, I know it came from a Florida number, but uh, I, I decided to keep that number because I was in the military. Uh, and so I just, uh, that's why it shows out of state. So uh, I will go ahead and, uh, and work on it. And then uh, I'll, I'll be in touch. If you don't mind, could you, uh, could you, uh, uh, give me your email address. Maybe I can send you an email uh, with some things that I found, that type of stuff. Sure. Uh, JTXR1971. Okay. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye bye. I muted it there. Uh, I record the call, so I'll go back on my call and I recommend you guys uh, do that. Uh, this is going to be a very uh, skinny deal, but I just wanted to to uh, to get what uh, walk away number for him would be. So uh, he said he'd be happy to walk away with uh, three hundred thirty thousand as his bottom number. So that was just to see if he was willing to negotiate, willing to negotiate, comma, and he was, period, next step would be to enter into better negotiations, uh, et cetera, period. I will do a little bit more digging and see what we can do. He did mention that he and his sister own it and that they would split it back and forth. So I have somebody calling me. Ah, man, they hung up right away. Let me see who called. Real quick, I'm gonna call them right back. Okay. Pulling up the call log here. All right, who was it? I'm hoping it was Cynthia. Seventy six ninety six. Yes, it was. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. Okay, let me call her right back. Seventy six zero. Okay. She called from the iPhone. This is how it rolls. I mean, you get interrupted constantly. Yeah, man. Yes. Hello, ma'am. How are you? Okay, sounds good.
So, yes. did you have any idea what, what you wanted to do? Uh, yes, ma'am. I mean, uh, what you and I agreed and, and spoke about on uh, last uh, Tuesday, uh, we can definitely uh, work with that. Definitely can, can get you that. Uh, I think you, we talked about the 10,000, but I, I said, you know, that the 15,000 would be no problem. Uh, so, but yeah, I can talk to him uh, directly if you want me to. Okay. Okay, I talked to my brother, uh -huh. and he said two ninety. Two ninety, okay. Two ninety, okay. Got it. Uh, okay, got that number. Two, 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 two hundred ninety thousand. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Got the that. Total. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. In in that way, uh, yeah, that's no issue. That's no issue at all. Uh, okay. Okay. Let me let me have you talk to him though. Monday. Monday. Okay. I will call you. Same time as, as right now? Yeah. Okay. You got it. Well, you guys have a great weekend and we'll we'll speak on Monday, okay? Okay. 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 You too. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye. Okay. So, uh, but that includes all the liens and stuff. Let me see here what... Uh, I'm getting another call from. <laughs> it's just, it's just like that all the time, um, and that's good. Phones are ringing. Marketing is working. Uh, she said, "Hold them back." So I'm going to go and make the notes here. So let me finish uh, Joseph's and that's how it is. You just kind of have to remember. That's why I put my notes right here. I have a notepad right here that I am uh, using here. So Joseph agreed to a call next week. And on that call, I'm really going to dive into exactly what we can do. So So I'm thinking I can call him on Tuesday because it's not urgent. And typically Mondays are reserved for all the busy stuff. Like with her, she asked for Monday and I'm going to give her Monday. So Cynthia here. Discovery call. Uh, this one is going to be in this funnel here. So Cynthia called me back, called me back. Um, let me see what the range is here. So that's way below. So we can sell, sell it for up to 364. And she just said 290. But like I said, they owe a bunch of liens and stuff. So uh, the walk away figure for them is going to be 15K. She said to call her back on Monday because they're going to talk about it over the weekend period. She also spoke to her brother. And they would like the sales price to be $290,000. We'll set up a call for Monday around this time. Okay. So we're going to set it up now.
Monday at 12.25. Okay, so there we go. Okay, and she's already moved into the right funnel uh, or right um, follow-up sequence. Uh, Joe, however, was not. Okay, there we go. So now he's in the right place here. Okay, um, so those are, that was very fast. I have to continue to do analysis and everything else, but uh, that's gonna be it for this uh, session of calls. Um, it is Friday today and I am committed to this channel. So I'm building or I'm recording on Friday. So. If you want me to continue to do these videos, go ahead and like, subscribe, uh, share, and comment below. Uh, I think the bell also, um, I just started doing it. So um, uh, YouTube, so uh, hit the bell. Uh, I still have to practice <laughs> all the stuff that you gotta do to, uh, to stay informed when these calls uh, are released. Okay, talk to you next time. Bye-bye.